have a heart for service, you know the need out there seems greater than ever. So we were impressed with the growing trend in giving that puts your talents, your hobbies, your everyday activities to work for a good cause. That's the definition of this brand new buzzword in service circles. It's called lifestyle giving. And there are a whole crop of websites dedicated to this effort. We asked our good friend Jody Robinson with the website Share, Love, and Serve to scope out this lifestyle giving movement. It's so good to see you. Thank you. And so many families out there looking for a way to give back this season. But I was right. unfamiliar with this term. So lifestyle right. giving, what does it mean yes. exactly? So it's, you take your lifestyle, you blend it with fundraising and your personal passion and you put it towards a good cause. If you think of how busy lifestyles can be, literally just raising your family, going to work every day, and still wanting to do good. And there's different levels, different opportunities on different websites to be able to give back. And, and the plus side is you can do some projects that cross borders, that take mm. you clear across the world without even having to leave your living room. So as you look into your service crystal ball, so to speak, do you see this lifestyle giving movement really having an impact? I think in certain circles, yes. And for certain reasons, yes. We still want to connect. We still want to be in front of other human beings and have that that touch and that human you know passing along that good word and also to know that they give back to us when we give to them right, right. but I do think it serves a purpose I think it has a niche and I think it can connect us with bigger causes clear across the world that gets really exciting you've scoped out three websites that are yes. offering such web service opportunities up yes. first a website that's been described as ice bucket challenge meets Kickstarter. It's called My Good. Absolutely. And it is a lot of good. It's people wanting to do good, finding good causes, and then having fun and creativity doing it. How does and this And if work? you're a closet thespian, this is for you. Okay. Because there's a challenge that you give to a friend. And you can either come up with your own challenge or you find a challenge that they have already made on My Good. And so say it's, okay, my friend Tacey, I'm going to challenge her to dress up in a cow costume and go dance around at halftime <laughs> at the junior jazz or at the jazz game. Now, Tacey can choose to accept that challenge okay. and then other people join and say, oh, I so want to see Tacey doing this, you know. Uh -huh. And so they pledge money. And so my money, my $25 becomes 50, becomes 75. It can it can go on and on and be endless. Nice. At the end of six days, she only has six days to complete okay, this. So and she's going to have a heart attack because this is not real. She's not really truly okay, challenged. Okay, okay, rest assured. Yes, time limit, six days. At the end of that six days, she's got to have that completed or the money doesn't go to charity. So the money's on the line. Right. So there's a little motivation and okay. so it can get really fun. Do you choose the charity? You get to choose the charity or the cause. Mm -hmm. They have many, many there. And then also there's worldwide causes. There's some local causes. And so really it's a matter of shopping around, seeing where your passion lies. Do they take a cut? Do they take so a portion? It depends on which particular website. So My Good is a privately funded organization. So somewhere in there, there's a portion that is for uh, their services and so forth, but it is it's different for others for the other ones We're going to talk about they're, they're very specific This is the cut that we take and then another one that's an absolute 5013 C organization nonprofit It's just all going so just to in charity full disclosure so, so you know yeah, what you're and to be aware and to. you'll find that fine print on their websites next go Jane give you say this requires a little bit more effort Okay, yes, it does because this is your talent being put to work and this is like service project Okay, but different in that say you are a rock climber and you just simply say, hey, I am going to rock climb for this many hours over a period of a year. They really like year-long challenges because think of how much money you can raise. If over the you, course of 300 plus Yes, days. if you chart how many hours you're going to go rock climbing. Or say you cut hair and you want to donate so many haircuts to charity, people donate to your cause. They go online, pledge the money, get their haircut, and over that period of a year, say you do a thousand haircuts you for charity. You meet your goal. You meet your goal. Um, a little girl who makes fudge and she says, hey, I love kids camps that you know help kids with cancer and I'm gonna make fudge and if you donate ten dollars or whatever you want to donate I'll give you some of my fudge so kids can get involved. kids can get involved oh the mother that created it uh, her love is cookie dough yeah that's what I love <laughs> and she decided you know I can make one batch of cookie dough or I can make four and that four batches of cookies I can sell and donate to charity nice. so that's how it started do you choose your charity with this one you as can well? choose your charity as well and okay. it's very well mapped out um, it's all visual so you just go on and click really just walk you straight through nice. the process. All right, about a minute left for this last one. An easy way to donate goods to people and charities in your community. It's called yes. You Give Goods. Yes, and this is simply mouse click. 
I'm sending diapers to the mothers and children's program. It just connects you. It with just other connects sources. you, and it is a full non nonprofit. So those products are shipped and delivered. It's just waking up one morning and say, you know what? I've got a little extra. I love this cause. I want to donate goods. The homeless shelter. You know, mm -hmm. here's your cans of chicken, your cans of beans. You know, your taco seasoning, whatever, and laundry detergent. The limit is endless. I have a friend, bless her heart. She is very, a very good budgeter, a great planner, organizer. If that grocery budget falls under week to week, she takes that extra Aww. and gives it back. So that would be an easy exactly. website to help her funnel that money. It's just going to be cost. a vehicle for her to to do good and not have to leave her house and go deliver. Yeah. It doesn't ever erase, I think, the the love that we have for driving downtown to I go to the road that. home and to be part of something bigger than yourself. But you can still do good even from the comfort of of you and your computer and using your time, creativity, and passion. Your it's batch all of cookie good. dough. Absolutely. Can make a difference. We love That's it. That's right. It would be great to see you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.